before I get into this video, I want to make this one thing clear. This by far was the best trading day I've had this year. And you really can't do this every single day. So I don't want to put that mindset in you that you can go into the market and make 45 grand like that. But it can happen with proper risk management, a trade plan, and a good strategy, and trading psychology, maybe one to two times a year if you're really hyper-focused. And of course, if you have more capital, that means you make more money, it happens a lot more. But for instance, on these two trades, they ran well over three, five, four percent So as you can tell, with $800,000 funded, it's a lot of money. On top of that note, I'm a funded trader. I'm funded with well over half a million dollars, nearly seven figures if it wasn't for TFT. So I use prop firms to make this type of money. And you guys need to know these things because if you try to do it on a personal account of yours with $20,000, you're not gonna get the same results as me because my capital is so much bigger than yours. But with that being said, let's get into it. Okay, so as you can see, this is Wednesday, May 15th on my Trade Zella journal and $45,714 in one day. And between two days was a lot of money. So it says 12 total trades. What that means is I took them on all my prop firms and then 11 winners because one of them actually hit a loss because of the spreads and everything. That's one of the prop firms. And then you can see all the PLs and everything I want to see. And if I go to view now, it's basically the same thing with just my notes that I dumped in there with the screenshots of the trades. So yeah, that basically sums up the trade journal. There's not much else I can show you, but what I will do right now is hop onto the charts. So right here was the first trade I took. And if you see my other video about how to make 10K in a month trading Forex, it's basically the same thing. I'm just going over the trades again and showing you the exact day. Now, going over the trade again, it was a bomb setup from Grill Trading. I made a video on them. If you want to go see it, go watch it but this was the trade setup right here that I took. I ran it all the way up to here, which was right here. And then I got stopped out when the market reversed right there. So that accounted for about, give or take 5%. I don't have it like directly set up, but give or take, it was about 5% here. So that was the trade I took right there. Why did I take that? Well, if I go over it again, I'm gonna drop it just into replay mode and on the entry. Now, again, what did I see? Well, this is an indicator to show where my highs and lows are. You don't have to use this. I rarely do, but for the video, it saves me a lot of time and helps you guys out. But we had this major range in here that built a lot of liquidity, break and retracing, and we got a giant wick rejection here that pushed the market up. So at that current point, what am I looking for? Well, I see that major push up and I'm looking for a continuation because it's showing me upside potential. We get a nice pullback here with no shift back down and a small little range inside here and then we get that entry. So that for me was where I wanted to get involved and that shows me like a lower time frame. If you really look at it, it's a nice move up with a range and then a smaller liquidity sweep and an entry. So you can take it on like a lower time frame, but the higher time frame holds the higher power for me. And that's why I got involved in that trade. It's very simple, guys. It doesn't have to be like five, six time frames and all these different confluences. It's a simple setup that's worked and it's played out for me and I have the proof to show it. So that is the first trade. And the second one is on the Aussie. It's basically the same thing. It kind of had like a confluence where both of them set up the same exact thing, but at different times, because this one was at eight in the morning. The other one was at like nine the previous day at night. So this one also ran, but I had an error on this one with a prop firm and I also had an error with the trade copier that executed them. So I didn't take a lot of profit. I was actually supposed to take it out for a loss, but it worked in my favor in a weird way. Now, did I break my rules based on my psychology or anything like that? No, I broke my rules because the outside force actually forced me out of the trade. I don't use trade copiers anymore for that reason. I've already made basically a video about that, but going on the same trade, it had the same exact idea. Drop it into replay mode, you can see. And I did also, before I can drop in the replay mode, I want to say that I did take around, I think it was like two 2.76 was the final. I don't have it. It's not on here. It's somewhere else, but I'll find it for you guys. Call it 2.76 for the video. But if I do drop it into the replay mode, same, essentially the same thing was, what are we looking for? Well, as we get that break, major impulse range, it shows range on a lower time frame. gets that sweep and goes, and that forms what they call a guerrilla trading, a bomb. So that was the two trades I took. And yes, I ran it during news and it happened before news, but I tailor my plan to that. And I happened to actually make profit on this, which is very good. And over the consistent long run, these setups have tended to play out very, very well. So I'm very happy with both of these, even though there's a bit of an error, no problem. We ended up making profit and it was a really great day. So if you're going to trade these news events like CPI, just make sure they're tailored to your strategy. You have a set stop loss, you have a set take profit, you know, where you're going to get in, you know, where you're going to get out, you know, all of this, because on these trades, I took them well before these news events. And I don't even look at news events in terms 
terms of the one hour time frame on the swing strategy. So if it happens, I stay in it, but I'm tailored to that experience and I make sure I don't belong my account. So I was very, very safe. And like I said, worked out in my favor. So that right there was the two trades. Okay, boom, there you have it. Two trades that accounted for my best trading day this year. I made this video to show you guys, if you guys get funded, you can get large payouts. If you get funded with half a million, million dollars, this is possible. But how can you start? How can you do the same? Well, I've made three videos here that tells you how to get close and a step-by-step -step guide of how to get to where I'm at, depending on your situation.